Alright, it's gonna be good. gentlemen thank you for tuning in you know who I am I'm everyone's lovable alcoholic uh, welcome to the stream where we sit around talk with mill some folks get drunk and end up throwing some bullshit <laughs> having a good time I'm joined with mr. I'm not sure how to say your name M MP 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 MP221 MP221 um, you just want to go ahead and introduce yourself for the folks how we doing, fellas, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the uh, XL First Lieutenant of the 8th Infantry Division. Uh, tell us about the AID. Well, AID I've been around for about eight months now. Uh, I've been busy recruiting, growing the unit. I uh, just recently joined community about a month and a half ago. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention, it has been a good show as of late, and it seems that we've been involved in a uh, bunch of stuff lately, so I'm here to break that all down for you, give you our point of views, and uh, let you know where we're at. Alright, we'll get into that here shortly. Um, you're a BF4 uh, Milsom unit, correct? Yes, sir. All right, well, let's go ahead and start with this one. What do you think about the BF4 community? Uh, the BF4 community is definitely a tough place to um, be a newcomer. It's been around a while. You know, there's teams that have been alliances and coalitions and, you know, a bunch of stuff that you don't know about it piss off the wrong person, you don't know who you pissed off. It definitely takes some getting used to for a newcomer. Um, not used to playing the politics game on a video game. But uh, it's definitely a very interesting place though. I'll say that much. Alright. Are there any thoughts, or do you have any thoughts about the Battlefield 1 Milson community? Uh, Battlefield One, I, I haven't really got into. I never, uh, never took it serious enough to try to actually join a Milsim in Battlefield One. I never really got into the game that much. I just enjoy the more modern shooter, and I just don't think Battlefield One is there. Plus, the uh, the hardcore mode on that game is just absolutely ridiculous. You cannot even tell your teammates apart. Really, I, I don't like. I just really don't like it. I. Have, Nothing. I've never seen the community. I don't know who the units are in the community. So, I mean, I really can't comment on the Battlefield 1 community. As far as the game, though, I, th I think the game pretty, pretty trash. Yeah, I guess. I mean, just be glad it's not wa line warfare. <laughs> Fucking 18th century. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if they were to do that shit, fucking America all the way. But <laughs> fucking be like seven year, years war and all that shit, whatever. But uh, eighth IG just got into the BF4 Milson community, correct? Sure. All right. Are there any plans for eight ID to go over to BF? Uh, no, there are no plans at all to go over to BF1. Right. We're going to stay here in Battlefield 4. We're going to fight this out and, you know, we're going to come out better in the end. Later we'll go over, you know, what the issues were and why the war is there. Now, uh, next question is, are there any problems you see in the Mills community that could be fixed? Or doubt you would like to see fixed? Um, I mean... 
we're a prime example of what needs to be fixed right now. I mean, our simulation isn't perfect, and there's a lot of other units that, uh, you know, they're doing the same stuff as us, but I'm getting called out consistently on. And uh, it's like it's see, you know, policed a little bit more fairly <clears throat> rather than, you know, everybody. Right now, everybody's jumping on us. I mean, every little thing that we do, and you know, a lot of other teams are doing the same things. So, I mean, people need to check themselves. I mean, that that would make the community a lot better rather than, you know, right now I got, you know, multiple teams just jumping on me on every little thing. If I drop a, you know, I drop a flashbang, wrong class or something, you know, 10 teams are going to tell me about it. Like one potato attachment, you know, potato grip, I'm, I'm getting it from, you know, 15 units. I understand. I mean, a lot of teams are calling us out and a lot of teams, you know, they're, they're not simulating properly either. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just talking. I have my mic on mute. God damn it! Oh, hey, but like, back. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much like, this is like they have like, they're calling you out, but yet they could be the ones that are also doing like the shit that they're calling you out for. It. So pretty much, they're like jumping on the train on this kind of situation, correct? I feel like that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, bandwagoners going on right now, and you know what? That's fine. I'll we'll take it. We're not. We're not gonna back down. I mean, we'll fix our wrongs. All right. Uh, next question is: What do you think causes the most problems in the Milton community? Hmm. A good question. Uh, just. Most problems in the Milsim community is get right now. It seems to be uh, stimulating wrong, which I mean that <laughs> that's what we're here for. Milsim, military simulation. So, I mean the most problems in the community are you know simulating issues, or uh, the, yeah the biggest issues around right now are are the simulation issues. Um, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's hard to to be a newcomer in the community. I wish it was just a little bit more welcoming, you know, rather than a little bit of a, uh, I mean, little, you know, it's hostile, a very hostile environment. Let's see if you're stepping into people you don't know, you don't know who's friends with who. And like I said, it's been around a while. I mean, I'm not really in a, in a place to talk, but I mean, I'd like to have a chance. All right. I now lose my track. Where are they? All right. Uh, I want to kind of say this next question for last. So I'll jump to the next one. Uh, mm -hmm. ne this question I'm gonna ask you, you can speak as honest as possible um and for any units that watch this it happen to be the unit that that are called out uh we only ask one favor from this unit don't take it just take it with a grain of salt um pretty much just someone asked like everyone's adding constructive criticism those that are watching that have been on the stream and are raised hell about fucking someone throwing out some constructive criticism they can't be mad when they were on the stream they were asked the same question and they gave their answer um with the exception of one unit I've been drinking so I forgot who that unit was everyone else has answered that question on a name or team or whatever that has caused that they believe caused problems so this question I want to ask you is, who do you think makes the most trouble in the community? Uh, right now, the most trouble, uh, for, for me at least, and you know, that brought a lot of other people into this shit, uh, RGR. 
Royal Gurkha Rifles? I have a lot to say on them. Right, real quick, come up. Alright, let's make the party invite that way. I'm not having thousands of people joining. <laughs> I take it, everyone wants in this one. Well, people were asking me when's the stream gonna be. Like, I don't know, because uh, I was messaging. We were messaging 8ID's Twitter. It's like, hey, uh, kind of like, yeah, hey, that was, yeah, yeah, that was it. me. Uh, yeah, that's but, me. I also run the uh, the Twitter feed. Alright. Uh, next question. What do you wish to see changed in the Milsa community? What do I want to see changed? Yes. That's the question? Hmm. Uh, I'd, I'd like it to... Uh, how do I put this? Softly. Like I said earlier, I'd like to see it more open. I wish I could have. Here, here's what. Here's how I wish community was. I wish I could have came in the beginning, when everybody wasn't so tight knit. And uh, you know, there's so many different teams that are you know allies and signed into detachments and contracts and this and that and the other. You know, it's been a long time that this community's been going. I wish I could have seen it from the from the beginning when, you know, everybody was new and, you know, there weren't so many alliances. I just wish that it was a more open community rather than so uh, close-knit. Alright, take another sip of this beer. Kind of beer you're drinking? It's actually good. It's actually the beer that's sponsoring, unofficially sponsoring. If anyone's been watching and get the running joke, this stream is unofficially sponsored in part by Budweiser. <laughs> Got that fucking the fuck did it say? 16 ounce can. Okay, there it was you like go. a four pack. For, it was like four pack for four dollars. So. I ain't complaining. Alright, brood in America, baby. America. <laughs> Alright. This next question is the one I moved, uh, wanted to save for last. And obviously, paying, to, paying attention to our uh, stream, not stream, but, uh, well, I guess you could say stream and also, who also been paying attention to our Twitter feed, uh, is. Is your unit in any wars or conflicts? And this is where we can, you know, like, what do you have to say about RGR and the situations that happen, like, from your side and all that, all that jazz. All right, so we'll start with the uh, with the big one that everybody wants to hear about. What's the 101A? Um, it's a huge topic in the, in the community, right? Uh, it, you know, it's got the community alive. And, you know, that's good. It's good. I mean... I like to see activity. There's a bunch of teams in our war chat. You know, they have a lot of allies. You know, it's got a lot. That's cool for the community. I like that. It sucks that we have to be the brunt of it, but I mean, you know, they have some valid points. And, I, you know, I've been a hard ass, and I realize that. You know, I, I talk sometimes, lose my temper. But, you know, that's why I got people around me in the unit to kind of calm me down. But, uh, yeah, so what's going on with that is, uh, you know, they're, they're on us for not properly simulating. And, you know, I get that. 101A has been around a while. You know what? And they, they ha they're very passionate. And they they like the community. And, you know, they like proper Milsim. And throughout this entire war that, that we're going through right now, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the things that they wrote on the document were, um, you know, bad simulation. And you know, while we're in while we're in game, uh, when we get out of game, we have an AAR with them. While we're in game, if they see something, you know, they'll let us know, and you know, we'll fix it because we're trying to learn. You know, we're not perfect. Like I said, we're we're new to the community. Like we had, you know, maybe some clan tactics with uh, with some of the some of the MOSs that we use, uh, some of the certifications that we give out. 
and uh, you know they're helping us fix that you know while you know beating our ass and in their armor I mean but I mean they're good in the armor and in, and in the air and you there yet you know we're mainly an infantry unit who just opened up our aviation and our armor attachments so I mean yeah all assets I don't, we don't stand a chance I mean we're pretty good infantry but as far as uh, all assets you know no, we're just not there yet but yeah most of the stuff was uh yeah, improper sim stuff like that and like I said they're working on it with us. we're working on it with them you know we're we're gonna stay we're gonna fight you know the terms were we if we lose uh, you know our our CO has to step down you know our CO has you know been through the ringer and back as far as it as it goes with the with the community and you know he's a good guy uh, he's you know built this unit from the bottom from the bottom up he's a lot of really really good guys in our group and you know it over over the past couple months they've become good friends and uh, so I mean the the end of this war you know, if we if we give up, if they don't drop the dock, and you know we work this out, you know, our CO has to step down. So I mean, uh, we don't want that. So we're gonna we're gonna keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. You know what? If we keep losing and losing and losing, whatever. If we have to gain some respect by by losing, fine. But I mean, like I said, we've you know we've built bonds in our Milsim, and you know we've played hours and hours and hours and hours together. You know, not as long as 101A has played together, but still, you know, we've played a lot of time together. So, I mean, that's that's what's going on in that in that aspect of the war document. Now, there's two other teams that have also dropped war docs on us. Uh, there is, I'll get to the RGR after the last one, because I, I got a whole bunch on them. I just, they're, they're despicable. But, um... Right. So the next team is the uh, the 25th ID. Um, I I don't know, honestly, really really what what happened that they they dropped the war doc. I mean, uh, they're bandwagoning on 101's war doc. I don't know why. Uh, we had a JTO with them once, and they and you know we screwed up the uh, the ROE. From that day on, they just you know they just hated us, and you know we apologized. We said we're sorry. We'll no, we'll fix it. We'll play again, and you know, on your terms, whatever. But um, apparently, their CO came back and said that my CO, Odin, was was you know uh, talking talking trash on him over the uh, over some some shit of him in the Navy, and I don't I don't even know. I was he said he did he did it in the AAR after the match. I was in the AAR after the match. Literally, nothing of the sort was said. I don't know what this guy's on about, but it's just complete BS. Uh, there's no proof, nothing. Um, the 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 twenty fifth one. I, don't, I really don't know what's going on with that. But uh, we'll move on to uh, RGR. And also, my uh, my CEO just sent me a message. He'd like to join the uh, stream if that's possible. Right, go ahead, just uh, make sure to tell him uh, when he joins the stream, just have him make sure his audio is included. Uh, if you'd like, we could take a quick pause. Um, I just ran out of beer, and I need to go replenish the stock. Okay, yeah. But yeah, just make sure he comes in here, uh, includes his audio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with some music or some shit. Uh, what the fuck's it coming at this one? Uh, Hold on a second, I just had a pup. But yeah, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick intermission and I'm going to run and grab some beer. I'll be right back in a couple of chip. What'd you say?
Yeah. We got 15 followers. What's up? <laughs> Alright, so what am I missing? Hello? Oh, okay. Okay. I got that. That's <laughs> alright, man. Uh, you want to go ahead and enter one? Oh, are you there? Hello. Um, I'm Odin is for the booty. I'm the commanding officer of the 8th Infantry Division. Uh, MP, you want to continue where you left off, or what's, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, you can, you can, you can ask him uh, some questions, and then uh, I'm sure we'll both jump on RGR together. <laughs> All right. Uh, what started, uh, Odin? This one goes for you. What started the fight with RGR? What was the Prumas, the spark? Okay, so RGR Division, we've been good friends for a long time. Um, we've been growing with each other. Um, I've been helping them out a lot with what they can and cannot do with community, and oh, I've been hold on teaching a them uh, tactics. Gentlemen, you want to? Do you have your audio included? Just uh, make a quick check. I do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, mine's uh, checked. The audio. All right. All right. Go ahead and continue. So we've been good friends with RGR for a while. Um, Crosshair Sniper was the CEO when I first met them, when I first joined the Legion Assault Force. Um, we, from that point forward, we've been good friends. We've been working with each other. Um, Crosshair, um, after an incident um, that led out of the LAF from a few comments um, that have been fixed and corrected that will not be happening again um, due to professionalism, um, RGR got a lot of sight on that from a lot of teams in the community. And so I offered them a terms to where I could bring them in as a detachment. And then um, I typed up all the paperwork. I presented it to him. His command staff didn't like it, so they didn't do it. Um, Crosshair Sniper, the, C, the current CEO at that time of RGR, he ended up leaving. And ever since then, they have been in, um, I don't know how to word it, I'd say community, um, where, where they've been 
kind of nagging each other, real petty things. But I mean, it happens when COs leave units and you know stuff like that. It's it's a hump to get over. Um, Crosshair Sniper, I talked him into joining into my chat or into my unit. Um, he was in the BCT process of enlisting in the Eighth Infantry Division, and um, he was still having comms with. RGR command staff. Um, I got him to uh, officially attach himself from the RGR name on Twitter, um, but there were still petty comments going both ways on it. I got contacted by the CEO, the Enid, of the Royal Gurkha Rifles, and he told me that he has information that is going to hurt Cross, but he would not present it to me. And I was concerned with it because it could, because it could event make it to where 8ID would be getting in trouble over this information. And so it Is, turned um, out that he wouldn't present it to me. He didn't feel. Um, I may know what you're talking about on this one. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it hasn't happened to be part of the um, shit? Why well, no, I'm thinking of two different things. It's a. Uh, I'm not sure who Enid or the supposed Enid was messaging, but uh, yesterday we uh, a bunch of screenshots of a chat between um, Lieutenant Enid from RGR, um, someone I guess from 8ID maybe, I'm not sure who he was talking to. Um, and he said... So not, most of those like, conversations... Yeah, like it was apparently Most of those conversations it was like, you better hope were, that cancer gets you before I do. Some shit like that. Was that? Yes. 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 That's something that's something we're going to be blowing up here very soon um, because but um, it, it builds up to that. It builds up to that. I'll get okay. to that here okay. in a minute. I promise. Um, so Crosshair, he was in my BCT process. I got him to um, post less and less on Twitter, um, but he was so infuriated because he kept getting hounded by people in RGR. Um, and you know once again petty communication and so he enlisted in the 8th infantry division um, I told RGR that if they wouldn't present me the information it could possibly get him in trouble to the community I mean I'm, I'm fine with him sending information to the community I'm not I'm not saying for him not to do that I'm just saying that if there's information that could put him to the 8th infantry division I need to know or somebody in my command staff needs to know so that way we can act on it you know, it isn't like we're trying to withhold and hide information. We're trying to, you know, get what we can get and then rock with it from there. So, pretty much what it was, the backstory to that was Crosshair Sniper, before he formed RGR, he was in a, another unit with the CEO of UK Badco. And then, um, that was Orange Sky, I believe. That's his gamer tag. Yeah. Orange um, ski, orange sky, whatever you want to call it. Some, well, they were, I keep reading it as well, orange ski. Much like, Sounds like some Russian shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, they were good friends. I mean, they were enlisted in a legitimate unit. And so, um, I don't know the process of orange ski, orange sky, whatever if you want to pronounce his name. I don't know the process of him deciding to be a UK bad co team. But 8ID, we know we don't um, authorize any. Thing to do with bad company. I heard about RGR having one um, friendly fight with UKBC, and we cross understood, and he didn't do it again. So Enid was trying to blow that out of proportion because, well, I'm pretty sure he was eventually tired of the petty arguments that were going on between him and Cross. But for some reason, he couldn't send that to me. So, um, with my respect to RGR, I told them that we'll see them when they enter community. We raided on Friday after Thanksgiving. Um, I was at work. Uh, my XO here, MP, um, first lieutenant, he led the raid. And so I believe we won by 138 tickets. And then the. 151. Who's counting? Was, okay, so we won. Um, but they kept sending heady messages to me. Okay, so at that point in time, I decided that I'm going to raid them again. I mean, I want them to learn 
You know, I want them to learn that it's not a, that it's not okay. You know, I don't I don't want to kill them. I didn't want to destroy the unit or I would not. Um, you know, I'm not down for destroying a team. I'm down for you know just everybody needs to learn a lesson. You know, and with every lesson, you know, it grows in how you need to learn it. So, with that being said, we raided on Sunday. And then they got support from a lot of other teams because I admitted that I will raid every team that supports them because I want them to learn the lesson. I want their friends to know that it's not okay to support somebody that openly talks, that openly talks, uh, excuse my language, talks shit to another team. You know, it's not okay to withhold information that could cause another team harm. So with that being said, um, a whole bunch of teams came in to support RGR, led to... 101A dropping a war dock on the infantry division because we weren't holding up to mil spec standards, um, which at that time I thought we were, but we weren't. Um, we did uh, do a couple things that I even frowned upon, but I didn't know that they were happening, like shooting a small into an elevator. Um, the other accusations that are coming out that I'm not going to talk about um, because they're still in the works of the, va the validity of it. Um, so. Um, later on, I believe it was Monday morning, Cross sent me a message, and Enid, the CEO of RGR, messaged Cross that he better hope that the cancer gets him before he gets a hold of, of our clan. So he's calling 8ID a clan, and then he is pretty much saying that Cross better hope that he dies from cancer. That's, um... Before RGR... Yeah, I I seen that and I kind of, I seen that and I seen it last night and I kind of took it I wouldn't say personal but it's kind of a low blow because my father had lung cancer he had, he had stage three lung cancer he survived but he still had it I me mean, I never once in my life you've seen him I've never seen him like the look at the feet on his. Cancer is he, he nothing went, to be joked about. It's nothing exactly. to even be now talked about in a conversation. Um, you know, so I mean, certain people cancer is this, something that people, uh, I, I that wanna, people can't prevent. There's, there's, there's certain people in the community that are making jokes about can, uh, suicide and all that shit. They know who they are, and I know who they are. And take it either way, but... I asked Aiden it and yeah. he said, oh, that's a doppelganger account. That's that's not me. I, some, it's I a doppelganger him, I, account even though, even I though asked all the him, messages are legit. I asked him for proof that, for what proof he had that it was a doppelganger account. And as of now, I have yet to have, get any information from him proving that it was a doppelganger. I mean, am I tempted to make an article, just put him on blast? Maybe. All I'm really hoping is that he, like, he cooperates, because we've been, like, we helped RGR out from when they first came on board, like, when they first appeared, and we were, we'll always help everybody. I mean, with the exception of bad company, we'll always help everybody. Of course. But someone, someone's I mean, you know, gonna throw, that, someone's gonna throw out have low a, blows like this. Then, I mean, you have our respect, but shit like that just, just drops. I mean, okay, so this, so so this whole event happened because I didn't want it to escalate to that. You know, as long as somebody's trying, I'm willing to help them. But the second that somebody doesn't accept the help or doesn't understand the lesson, and they, and then the lesson that they were supposed to teach was supposed to prevent this. I mean, I understand that I got war dogs against me right now, but there's going to be, there's going to be some interesting Now, has, yeah. I mean, uh, for, for the guys if, who don't you, know in the community, Cross actually is going through cancer and chemo at this point in time. Like, he has chemo next Tuesday. I mean, it's I've really, it. seen what chemo like, does, it's dude. Tuesday. It's pure, it's I've seen pure disgrace. It's, it's Tuesday. Disgraceful. It's Tuesday right now over there. So he's going to be waking up about an hour and a half, two hours to go and get his medicine for his cancer. 
I kept thinking Odin. I, no, I'm sorry. I, I, for some reason, I kept thinking you were cross. I don't know why. I just thought. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not him. But. But yeah, that's, I've seen what that shit does, dude. And for some reason, like. I mean, my dad. It's everywhere that, because it's nothing talked about. Cancer is my, not. My dad did that, but for some reason, he had a weird sense of craving for tacos. I don't know why. <laughs> weird. I, I'm not. I'm not bullshitting. Tacos, okay. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> Legitly, he had. Except for not the war story. I'm, I'm not laughing about the cancer, but that's the tacos. That's yeah. That's, Every time he would do his little yeah, chemo treatment, he always had a craving for tacos. Like my sister worked at the hospital where he got his treatment, and well, she would take lunch, and she would go to Taco Bell, get some tacos, go to where he's getting his treatment, sit down with them, and just eat tacos. I don't know, man. Maybe something in the chemo or something. I don't know. But it's some weird shit, man. I, I see the look at the feet on a man that see that on. And it... It just... Fucking mind-boggled me. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, it's... It's not okay. But, okay, let's continue. Ugh, get off the Uh, so, with that, when we got, we're still waiting on, um, RGR's CO to, um, send us to proof that it wasn't him, which, I'm the screenshots. I'll have to relook at the screenshots I was sent, but I'm pretty sure someone took like a screenshot of where if you click on someone's picture online and press the arrow button down, it like it shows all this what they said and their status and all that junk. Mm. Um, if we have that, then it's gonna be real hard for someone to argue. Oh, it's a doppelganger! It's a doppelganger! Because if everyone here is ex uh, sub uh, not similar, uh, now I guess knowledgeable is the word I'm looking for. But if everyone mentioned one of the articles we released happened to be an uh, article on ba uh, Battlefield 4, where the 21st, I forgot their unit name, was blaming a former member of. Uh, I guess trying to start a war between one group and another. Um, God damn, this fucking alcohol is going in my fucking head right now. <laughs> I, I had the whole thing like, like I knew what I was going to say and then I just drew a blank. Grunt like tacos. I don't know. The fucking tacos commit. Well, I always want to address something from the chat. I never said it, I never said crow, but there's people in the community who either private or open chats make jokes about suicide or some shit like that. So if you take it as if you take it as a jab at crow, then it's but I'm not gonna. That's your opinion, as a jab, uh, jabbing and crow, whatever. But anyway, what does Eighth ID like? What brought on Eighth ID's little war with 101A? I'm not sure if you went through that already. Pretty much, from what I've picked up, is that they are just trying to ensure that the community is running to a certain standard. 8ID was not running to that standard, and it made them angry. Um, so that being said, we are now actually having good conversations. Um, we're asking questions. We're growing, and you know we're moving up. There's history between people that are involved, but that's not even coming up whatsoever. So I mean, clearly this is a whole different subject. Um, the history will not even be close to discussed. 
Um, and we will, you know, continue to make improvements in the eighth, and we'll continue to fight. Um, you know, we're learning. You know, we're going from there. Um, and you know, we're we're gonna be here every day. Okay. Okay. Alright. <coughs> um, replays, just uh, answer or comment, comment on your stuff. Uh, we tried playing Battlefield um, while we're doing an interview. We we tried playing doing an interview, but people were complaining, "Oh, it's too loud. We can't hear you." All sorts of shit. So we're stuck with doing this. Now, if we can find a way to where it's not loud, we I'll probably have to go to options and lower the game volume, which I could probably do that next stream. Uh, then we'll do that. Um, and I'm not even sure who the who this guy is. Ohio, Ohio Rebel. That's that. no. I will not be doing a face cam. I said, "Fuck you! I got iron liver." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I got the iron liver, motherfucker. It takes me a while. To Especially with this Oklahoma, because we got 3.2 beer, but next year, Damn. Be starting next year, it's supposed to go up to six point. So that's good. Oh hell yeah, it is. Sounds like a good idea. Plus, Walmart's gonna be selling hard know. liquor. It's definitely the worst idea that Oklahoma's ever come up with. What? Upgrade. There's a the reason point? they gave you 3.3.2 .3 beer there, boy. No. Because think about it, they make six <laughs> point, people won't have to fucking make a run to Missouri or Texas just to get six point. Now, there's talks that, like they get fucking weed, we won't have to go to Colorado to get dope. But anyway, let's, get, let's stick on the topic of Nelson, folks. Um, no hope about dope, kids. <laughs> fucking, this ain't Vietnam. He ain't smoking dope through a <laughs> shotgun barrel. <laughs> and that was the actual thing. People would, um, the little port where you put the shotgun shells in, I'm not sure what it's called. I don't, I haven't handled the shotgun in a long time. Um, they would put a cigar, uh, not cigar, but a pipe, like old, like old fashioned, let's say corn cob pipe or something like that, into that old port, and the whole shotgun would be unloaded. And some guy will grab the barrel and use it like a hookah. I cannot bullshit you. I will look it up and post a video on uh, my per other account on Twitter for everyone to get a uh, good ex uh, look at what shotgunning was. But anyway, how many battles has 8th ID been in since all this war bullshit started? Okay, I'm not going to call it bullshit because some of the things are valid um once again you know we're working on it um how many battles has there been here since the first war doc or since uh let's um, go with first war doc let's see here the first war doc was dropped sunday there was one that evening there was one early morning monday there was one Evening of Monday, say six, I believe. Yeah, six is correct. We've been fighting around the clock. So six. Um, how long do you think this will last? Well, as of right now. Um, you know, as long as we 
hope to improve. We hope it ends shortly. Um, we satisfied with our performance this evening. Um, they said they didn't really see much. Um, we're still talking about um, combat repping with tanks. So you can fully understand how 101A operates and you know go from there to where we can play to where you know we appease most teams in the community, I guess you could say. Um, but like, yes, but other than that, yes, I mean, I'm, a pl I'm pleased, yes. I mean, we're definitely growing. Um, there's a lot of things that happened at the beginning of the war that I honestly didn't know really how we were supposed to operate. Um, but now that they have informed me, um, up to standard, um, we're probably going to have a few more fights in it um, to see exactly how it's all going to run in the long run um, but I hope that 101A and us we can clean it up um, as soon as possible um, against the other teams that have dropped war docs um, I'm not really interested with being neutral towards them so we could see exactly how long this war status for the 8th infantry division will continue to run I had a fight with a uh... RGR earlier today, correct? I believe so, yes. Uh, and who uh, who came out victorious? Was it AID or the other team? To my knowledge, um, we have not lost any battles except for the three against 101A. Yeah, and I was actually no, nobody I was actually watching the, the one yesterday with uh, 101A. Uh, yeah, one hundred and one A. They've requested uh, full assets, and they requested um, Caspian border. So we put on full asset, and we put it on Caspian border. Yeah, we. Um, for those who watched yesterday, our guest was Colonel Faticus, Um and his telling us how spectacular here. And we actually did. We were watching that whole fight. Well, not the whole fight. Kind of. Uh, I say the kind of little end of the fight, what the ticket was when we joined in spectators, and we looked good. It, was, it seemed like a good fight. And it wasn't really super good. I mean, we've been we've been changing the way that we've been running, and we're just trying to get back up to speed with how we can actually operate with communication standards that I have with the unit and how we need to operate with each other. Um, so, you know, we'll see exactly how it all really starts going down. Um, you know, I have great faith in my men and I love them to death. Fucking, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're the same towards the command staff of the 8th Infantry Division. So I know they'll continue to grow and perform better. Um, what the fuck? I just received some pretty interesting information. Sure. Uh, the UMC, United Mercenary, whatever the hell they are, uh, just surfaced again. Makes me. Wasn't that sure the Wasn't that the Milsom community? Everybody in the ID happy. I was like, wasn't that the um, Milsom community formed by a bunch of small teams that? I guess left the community because no. Okay, so so that's a different one. Um, okay, there there are two different. It's a things. good story. Um, <laughs> oh yes, yes it is. Oh boy. Um, so eight ID, we weren't planning on entering community until well until we had um, approval numbers and operating up to par with what I wanted us to operate with. Uh, previous XO, um, Eastern Samurai. Um, did not agree with it. Um, he kept breaking my rules, and so I started to punish him. He didn't like that he was being punished, so what he did was he invited my entire unit to a separate chat. Uh, tried to split a divide between the unit and myself. How I have my XO position designed is he's supposed to help oversee training, you know, work with new members, 
and you know continue to grow them as individuals with command staff uh, squad leader stuff like that you know to help teach them how to operate um so he got all the pfcs and below to leave with him the whole command structure stayed with me and so they went and they created the 3mr they realized that there was already a 23 mr so they decided to merge um, from that point they continued to try and poach my members and telling lies um saying that i was treating him unfair treating other members unfair and saying that i was breaking milsom rules saying that i will never eight ideal never enter community eight ideal never be anything so we enter community and we posted all of our evidence from that point forward a lot of other teams dropped war docs um, i believe the first to show support with our war doc was one calf and a lot of other teams uh, came in 101A, came in and um, so, you know, we got that handled out. They were breaking a lot of rules that they knew better not to break. They definitely knew better, um, but they still did it anyways. They had their own perception of reality, I guess. And so um, they ended up losing and believing creating a mercenary group. So now that they are a mercenary group, they are called UMC. You got a mercenary core? Crap. Yeah, something like that. I'm, I'm satisfied with that name. Crap. Um, Pure crap. From that point forward, they've just been really just trying to do trainings. I don't know exactly what is going on with them anymore because, honestly, I'm not interested. They pit a lot of teams, how they acted and how they talked to each other. Uh, now they talked with other teams and so um, right now they're supposedly trying to re-enter community they're going to start making processes to re-enter community so with all that in place um, you know I'd really apparently like to the, see try apparently the community is talking them up on them right now they uh they're continuously talking crap to uh Colonel Exotic Monster right now over the discord app you know, all types of crap. As they as they do, they talk, they talk, they talk. I mean, the chances of them actually getting into on, they might just let them in so everybody can smack them around again. So I, mean, if I was them, I wouldn't even give it a shot. That's all I really have to God say. Alright. Our right. <laughs> right, uh, MP, you want to add anything? Uh, nothing much, man. I appreciate you having us around. Ain't no biggie, man. I mean, kind of water kind of hit, like, seemed like out of nowhere, so. But yeah, it's good. It's good to hear. We heard uh, one side yesterday, and good to hear the other side today. Um, all right. Well, gentlemen, I think about that's all we got for today. Uh, again, we thank you for taking the opportunity and joining us on the stream tonight. Um, for those who watching, if your team don't want. Um, whether new, old, or whatever, that's interested in being on a stream, whether to say, hey, I'm a new guy, blah, 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 or just shoot the shit, DM us on Twitter, message me, whether on Xbox, if you have me as a, add that as a friend on Xbox, or line, if you have me online. And we'll, we will go from there, and we will try to get you scheduled. But again, 8th ID, um, Mr. Odin, Mr. MP, we thank you for taking time and joining us. I appreciate no it, man. Love the page. Keep it up. Keep keeping us informed. All right, we'll do, man. Without further ado, we'll see y'all next time on a stream.